Hello friends. Uh, today we are going to start a very interesting topic from the electromagnetic field, and uh, that is Maxwell's equations. So basically, uh, Maxwell's equations. So first of all, let us write what is what are Maxwell's equations. So the first equation is divergence of d is equal to rho. Second is divergence of b is equal to zero. Curl of E is equal to minus del V by del T. And the fourth equation is curl of H is equal to J C plus J D. What is J C? JC is called conduction current and JD is nothing current density because it is J, it is not I C and here JD is equal to displacement current density. So, what are the importance of this Maxwell's equations? Why we are so interested to know about the, the, this topic Maxwell's equations? We are very keen to know this Maxwell's equation because it is a very important tool to understand whole electromagnetic behavior in the in this electromagnetic branch of science so why these equations are called maxwell's equations what are the contributions why this equation is called Maxwell's equation. This equation are called Maxwell's equation because it is the Maxwell's who summarize, who wrote these whole Maxwell's uh, whole electromagnetic behavior in the very compact differential form. So that is why this is known as Maxwell's differential equations. When we see that these four, four equations, that then we can easily understand that these four equations totally covers all the electro, electromagnetic phenomena. Uh, by these four equations. So let us discuss first the divergence of D is equal to rho. So this equation can also be uh, write as divergence of E is equal to rho by epsilon naught. This is actually rho f. So here, this first equation is written in the form of uh, displacement vector and here it is written in the electric vector. Okay. So, this is nothing but a Gauss law. 
of electrostats now if we see the second equation of this maxwell equation that then we can easily know that this divergence of v is equal to 0 says that there is no any monopole exists in the magnetic state so this equation basically gives gauss law gauss and this shows gauss law law of magnetostat and this shows that there is no any monopole exist in the magnetostat so no mono now if we go to this third maxwell equation that is curl of e is equal to minus del v by del t then we can easily see that this third equation is nothing but the the faraday's law because what is faraday's law when there is a change in the flux magnetic flux there will be electric field or emf will induce and vice versa so we can easily see that there is a relationship between e and b so which uh, uh, law relates these two quantities electric and magnetic field it is the faraday's law so that is why this expression is a very compact form of the faraday's law so this is the physical significance of this third maxwell's equation now once we again come to this fourth maxwell's equation that is curl of h is equal to jc plus zd then again we can see that this is nothing but a modified ampere's law what is ampere's law ampere's law is basically uh, curl of curl of b is equal to mu 0 i uh, basically it is b dot ds closed line integral is equal to mu not i total or we can write here mu zero summation over i uh, x where x is equal to one two three and so on so we can easily see that these four equations shows all the electromagnetic phenomena exist and which was written in a very compact and differential form which is also called point form which was falsely written by this man called maxwell so that is why these equations are called v uh, maxwell's differential equations now these four equations are very much sufficient to explain all the phenomena exists in the electromagnetic uh, theory so one of the uh, application of this differential equation is to prove that the light has a speed equals to 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second so in the next video we are going to apply these four maxwell's equations uh, to explain all the phenomena in the electromagnetic uh, 
uh, theory and uh, will start the application from the from the from uh, that we have to prove that what is the speed of light so uh, in the next next class we will see that the speed of light is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second is the exact number that can be calculated using this application so thank you very much uh, please subscribe my videos to learn more about the physics and to get new uh, updates of new videos thank you thank you very much